We create a Swift file called Banner Ad View. Then we will define an ad display format. This property returns an ad size of the appropriate gathered size type for each ad format. Different sizes will be returned depending on the ad format. This property returns the size of the ad size property, that is the width and height of the ad is obtained as a CG size. We will use the ad status enum to track or manage the status of ad installations. We go to the app section of our application. We define an app delegate class and implement the NS object and UI application delegate protocols. This will enable the app delegate class to act as a delegate of an iOS app and respond to app lifecycle events. In this line, a call is made indicating that the Google Mobile Ads SDK is used to install and show ads and is used to initialize the ads. In this section, we will make an API call to request the user's tracking permission. IDFA is a unique identification number used for advertising and user tracking. After finishing these operations, we start writing our code for Banner Ad View. We define an ad format property called Ad Format. Here we will specify the format of the ad. We define an Ad Unit property called Ad Unit and set it by default with Ad Unit .home banner. This is a type that represents the Ad Unit. With a state, we define a property called add status. This property stores the state of the ad and allows tracking changes inside the view. Disclosure represents the function that will be called when the ad is successfully loaded. This purchase property is checked. If the app has been purchased, the ad will not be displayed. If not, the ad display will continue. The add status property is checked. If the ad is not in the loading failure state, Another view called Banner View is placed. It also checks if the ad is loading using an onChange modifier when the ad status value changes. If the ad loading is successful, the onShow closure is called. Finally, we define and finish our banner ad.